question is from Jessa007. Why do lifters arch their back during a bench press? Is it actually safer? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. So, do you, you know, if you're listening to the podcast right now, try this out, right? Lay down on the floor. And what you're going to know, just, just lay down flat on your back and relax. What you'll notice is that there's going to be a natural arch in your low back. There may even be a little bit of a space to where you can slide some fingers under your low back and your butt is on the floor and your back or maybe your upper back is on the floor. So you have that natural arch. It's more of a natural position, number one. Number two, the arch in the back. And by the way, this doesn't mean you lift your butt up off the bench. That's no. cheating. That's not the same. No, you anchor and, your butt. And down. I'm not talking about the extreme forms of this. There are people that can that do this to such a ridiculous extent uh, that they limit their range of motion, maximize how much weight they can lift, and it's a technique. Yeah, they lift maybe an inch. Yeah, no, I'm talking about just a, a normal, normal, you know, tight, natural curvature in the lower back where your shoulders are pinned back. That allows that puts your shoulder joint in a much more favorable position mm -hmm. for you to press. It reduces the risk of shoulder impingement and issues with the bicep tendon. Gives you allows you to have more of a full range of motion with your press. It's just a safer. Yeah, it helps you distribute for, that load more effectively. That's right. That's it, right. It's it's a must. Yeah. Uh, if you're if you're pre it was a mistake as a trainer that I used to teach. Um, you know, I I remember the first time I'd seen this again. You know, a young trainer seeing a, a power lifter lift for the first time, not understanding the physics behind it, why they're doing it, not even being great at the mechanics. But ha here I have the all these national certifications, and they they you know don't condone it, and so it's mm -hmm. all about safety and teaching a client to arch their low back is could be dangerous. So we I went the complete opposite and would teach clients to flatten their back and put their feet up on the bench, oh, yeah. which, is, which is just an awful idea because so, so unstable. The, the point that you made. If you lay down flat, if you lay on the ground flat, your head flat, your back's flat, and, or and your butt's on the ground, everybody will have, uh, you'll be able to at least fit fingers. Some people will even be able to fit their hand or arm underneath mm -hmm. there. You'll have that much of a, a natural arch. And that is you just laying there. If you then take your shoulders and retract and depress, which is where they're supposed to be when you start a bench press, it's very important that you're in that position, it'll excessively arch it. Yeah. You'll definitely be able to fit your arm underneath that. So... It's it's necessary that you have an arch in there. It's it's what you don't want is you don't want, it doesn't need to be excessive unless you're a power lifter and looking for every bit of leverage, mm -hmm. you know, then then you don't want well, it. Well, and we're also looking at vertical and horizontal, you know, force vectors. Like like where is most of the force coming from? It's 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 directed vertically is where you got to be worried. Like if I was standing up and I had like an excessive True. back arch, like that's a problem. You that's know, a good that point. I'm susceptible to, you know, that force being directed to its weakest point. And so for here, the weakest point is, you know, right behind the shoulders. And so if I'm like bringing my shoulder blades together. Now I'm more supportive. Right? What a great, what an excellent point, Justin. So essentially, uh, to, to put it in even more of layman's terms, right? If you're standing up and you have a weight on your shoulders or above your head, the weight is pushing down on your body and you're supporting yourself from the standing position. Arching your back really strongly. Very dangerous. It's going it, it, to, yeah, it, it's, you might hurt yourself. Now, when you're on a bench, the weight is pressing down on your arms and your arms are connected to your shoulders and your shoulders are resting on the bench. If you flatten your back, what you actually run the risk of doing is taking your shoulders off the bench a little bit and actually losing stability. Mm -hmm. Arching your back, all it does is connect the bar to the bench. It actually makes it far safer. What a brilliant uh, point to bring up, Justin.